Hey, what is shaking, homies? So today I got another electric skateboard up for an unboxing and review, and this one I am really excited about because it is a brand new board to hit the market. This is the Ride One Up board, and they're, they're coming out with three boards right off the bat. They're gonna have your classic longboard shape, they got a kicktail one, and then they also even have a carbon fiber board. I got the kicktail one right here, so I'm really excited about, about that. I haven't had a board with a kicktail. The nice thing about that is you can actually, you know, kick turn with it like you can on a skateboard. So super, super cool. And this board has a lot of really nice features. First off, um, the top speed, let's see, it's 26 to 28 miles per hour, depending on, you know, how heavy you are, road conditions, all that stuff. The range is 14 to 20 miles, which is very good. Most boards top out at 12 miles, so 14 to 20, that's pretty good. 20 will obviously be on the lower sp speed modes if you're not, like, you know, you're not cranking on it, you're not going up a ton of hills, stuff like that. Obviously, that's going to affect also if you're bigger, um, if there's a lot of wind, all the drag, that type of stuff will affect your mileage. But they're, they're saying 14 to 20 miles per charge, which is very good. The board is 14 to 17 pounds, depending on what board you get uh, and everything, which is actually, for an electric board, um, pretty pretty light. I mean, all electric boards are going to be a little heavy because they got batteries, motors, and everything. But actually, 14 to 17 pounds, um, that's actually pretty good. I've, I have a lot of boards that are much heavier than that. Uh, it uses a Samsung battery, which is you know, very cool and, you know, it's very reliable. Um, and the whole thing they're going for here, they said they wanted to make the first, like, electric skateboards that really felt, or, like, electric longboards, you know, that really felt like longboards, that rode like longboards. Um, also, too, they have a, like, on the remote, the remote has, like, a 40 feet, like, range, so, like, if you accidentally fall off the board and the board's going, you can still stop it, bring it back to you. A lot of electric skateboards, if you crash, your board is just gonna keep going until it loses connection um, because a lot of them they only have like a 10 foot or so range. So this one is really nice and the, you know, the remote's got an LCD screen on it. Also too, they're using like a better technology than most motors. The motors get to 60 degrees Celsius about, which actually most, of, most motors get way hotter than that. Um, so they're running at a little lower temperatures, which means like less, you know, less wear and tear, less, you know, less chance of them blowing out on you. Um, if you accidentally do run over some puddles or if it's, you know, starts raining or whatever, being that it's not as crazy hot, well, it's actually better. Um, yeah, but just lots of cool stuff. I'm very excited to check this out. This company's out of California. I'll put all the information down below. Their boards are starting at uh, $649. And it's actually, I live in the Chicago area. It's actually been freezing out lately, and we got the next two days supposed to be about 40 degrees, so I'm actually going to be able to ride this and everything. So inside the shipping box, you will have another box. Okay, and this is the box, you know, with the ride one up, it's all custom made. They got the website there. A very, very nice box even, actually. The box even has a handle. So actually, just that alone, I'm quite impressed, right? So good packaging. Everything's enclosed nicely in foam. All right, and you know what I really like about this is the boards have graphics. Most electric skateboards, if you notice, don't have graphics. Like the bottom of the board has graphics on it. Here, where's my knife? Here we got probably the remote and the charger. Yeah, the charger. We got a couple Allen wrenches, a uh, charger for the remote, a unit tool for adjusting the trucks or anything else. The remote looks very nice. We got a little LCD screen on there. I'll show you some up closes of that shortly. Um, we also got a nice instruction manual. I like seeing that. A lot of these, come, a lot of these, like you buy them and they don't come with these, you know, handwritten manuals. It'll be just like one piece of paper or, you know, or just like one page. This is actually like a full legit manual with pictures, um, really everything you need to know. It looks, says it takes three to five hours to fully charge the battery. So it is a slower charge, which is actually good. Um, when electric skateboards were first coming out, a lot of the companies made them like fast charge, but that destroys the batteries. And the slower charge is actually better for the batteries. Okay, so already I am I'm, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing, okay? First off, okay, let's get all, let's clear the room a little bit here. 
Okay, so okay, so the cool thing I'm I'm seeing here is the shape of this. It's it's you know it like comes up and comes down. It's it's very unique shape. It feels it feels like an old school skateboard stretched out, like an old the old 19 like 1980s skateboard. This is really really cool. Uh, it does have a nice kicktail, but it's it's kind of mellow. Now obviously you're not gonna want to use that like when you're going really, really fast trying to do kick turns, that's more for when you're just cruising around or um, you know, you're just going you know, right really slow, you just need to move, maneuver around things if you're on the sidewalk. Um, you know, obviously you're gonna to want to turn normally and everything most of the time if you're banking it, you know, going um, real fast and everything. But I like how the grip tape here has their, their logo. I like how they went with green everything, you know, like they got the green wheels, the green graphic on the top. Like this is, you know, the street surfer. So freaking awesome. Like, oh my god, I'll show you guys some close-ups of this in a minute. Here we got our power on and off. Um yeah, really cool. So the motors, here's what they they're like all enclosed. So this should be water resistant. You still you don't want to like dunk a board. Um because it's not good for the bearings, it's not good for the wood, it's not good for anything. But it does look like if you go in some puddles, bags, and or if it's you're almost home, it starts raining. You know, you can make it home without having to worry about it too much. Obviously, you're going to want to wipe off all the wood with a towel when you get home, maybe re-loop the bearings. Uh, just make sure everything's okay like that. Uh, you're not, you shouldn't be riding rain and stuff anyways, but it looks like if you get caught in a little bit, uh, it'll be alright. They are 90 millimeter by 52 millimeter wheels. They are 82A at, for the hardness. Which is cool. This is the first electric skateboard I've ever seen. One that had graphics on the wheels, um, but also that told you like how hard the wheels were uh, and everything. Which is good because soft like soft wheels normally grip the we grip the road better, but you can like drift around and stuff a little better with harder wheels. Some people like softer, some people like harder. Here it's cool because you got a baseline. You know what it is, and if you ever want to change them down the road, um, you you know you'll know what they were before to have something to base that off of. Because if you're not if you're not like a skateboarder or you haven't been longboarding your whole life, you might not know what those hardness numbers mean and everything. But yeah, uh, really, really impressed. I, I like the shape of it. It, is, it does ride a little high, but just going like this, the board's got a little flex to it. I'm sure when I'm standing on it, I'll be able to feel more. But um, yeah, my most unique board as far as the shape and everything so far that I've ever had. Very excited to plug it in, um, make sure it's fully charged. And then we'll hit the streets. I got a bike trail. Have you seen any of my electric skateboard reviews? Probably gonna go a lot of the same places we go to. I'm gonna take it down the bike trail. I'm gonna try some hills. I'm gonna go down by the the quarry there where the fit where everybody fishes and stuff. And, um, and there's a bunch of hills there. I'll take it around there. But yeah, I really just want to see what kind of top speeds I can get, how it handles, how it feels, how the kicktail works, um, and just all that regular stuff. But looking very forward to riding it. Um, really cool. So let me grab the camera. We'll do some close-ups of it. And then I'll charge it up and we'll get to riding the baby. Alright guys, so first things first, um, let me just show you some close-ups of the manual so you know how to work, um, you, know, like you know the functions of it. Mostly for the remote, a lot of this is just like safety and maintenance and stuff like that. Okay, but here we got all the controls so we know what does what. So let's see if there's any juice on it. Oh, yeah, right away. Um, it is nice how there's an LCD screen, so it does also even have a speedometer right on there. Okay, so... Um, speed setting, max seven. I don't know if the max, if that's the fastest you've gone, or if that means the the fastest it is for the setting. Um, I'll have to play with that and see. But that'd be cool if that bottom number right there, if like where it says zero, they both are zero here. If that was like the fastest you got on it, because then I could just use this to figure out what speeds I've gotten. Um, but either way, I can just do that with my phone. But yeah, it looks cool. Okay, so let's check out the board. So the board, really nice. I love these wheels once again. Here's what I was talking about. They have graphics on them. They say all the information right on there. The bearings just look like your standard, standard like generic skateboard bearings. They look good though. They look like ABEC, does it say? Not sure, but they feel nice. Um, this graphic, let's turn this around. Check out this graphic. So really cool. Once again, yeah, I don't have any like electric boards that actually have like a real graphic. Some of them just say like the company's name or something on them. But this is cool that you get a different graphic on 
like your different boards and really, you know, really, really nice. Um, this all feels nice, like everything's well protected. There's a gasket around here, so everything is water sealed, which is good. To charge it, you're gonna have to charge it right there. That's where the charger plugs in. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice. Here's the on off. Okay, so maybe now let's check this out. Okay, so let's turn this baby on. Okay. And okay, it tells me I have a connection, I believe. So let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, so yeah, so it's telling me how fast I'm going. Yeah, so that's the fastest I've gotten was five miles an hour. So that's it just tells you based on like how fast the wheel's moving, which is you know kind of nice. Uh Direction forward low so low is the gear it's going forward you know if you change it to backwards so let's see how do I change direction boom 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 For this one here? okay so that's different speed now now it's medium there we go hit it again <laughs> it's just hit. look now it's a 16 there so yeah so it does I mean obviously it's 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 just spinning freely here. Oh. <laughs> but if there was no weight on there, that would be either equivalent to 31 miles an hour. <laughs> so that is kind of cool that it is just on there. I'm going to see if I hit it again. High plus. Oh, man. So there's an even faster mode. Still is maxing out um, the same, but it did feel like it had faster acceleration. Like it started, yeah, it started going faster. Brakes, just brakes right away. Okay, how do I change it from forward to backwards? Let's try to figure that out. Yep, so you click the power button once and now it says backwards. So now this goes in reverse here. And then same thing, you can change the speed in reverse. Okay, so forward. We'll do this test. I, I will just use my cell phone, um, like my app on my GPS, so I do get an accurate reading of how fast I'm going. Because I believe this is just, I don't know how this works. If when I have weight on here, if it'll give a reading, like based on uh, that. But this is really cool. This is the first remote I've ever had that has an LCD screen on it. And so far, this board looks freaking badass. So I'm gonna charge it all up. Oh, dude, also look at this. They got little notches on the board so you don't get wheel bite. And they have them on all four wheels. I just noticed that now. That is really cool. So when you're carving, especially if you like looser trucks, um, but it also has some riser pads on it, so I don't think you're going to hit it really anyways, but very, very cool. They took, they thought about that, um, and you don't see that on a lot of boards. So just the shape of this deck, so far this is very high quality. I mean, everything I can see, as far as the hub motor boards go, this is, might be my, like, I don't know, if it rides as good as it looks, we're going to be in good shape, guys. So let's give it a full charge. Um, let's uh, bundle up a little bit because it is sunny, but it's still quite nippy a little bit. See, so, yeah, um, and then we'll uh, we'll give it a ride around town. But yeah, very excited to hit the road with this. So let's charge it up and let's get into it. Oh, and before I do look, it even tells you remote board. So I've got three bars. I need to charge that to five for a full charge. But my remote is fully charged. So very cool. Both battery indicators are on there. Okay, guys, I must say this board is an absolute beauty. And it's an unseasonably warm day here in Chicago. It's been freezing cold every day. We got a 40 degree day. It's nice and sunny. So um, I'm very excited to check this out. First board I've been able to ride in a while with this terrible weather. So this board came at the right time. It's like uh, it was meant to be. So cool thing about this board is actually like motion activated. So like when I move it, you can, I don't know if you heard that, but it actually powered on just from doing that. So now when I turn on the remote, Look, it's already on, see? So the remote's on the right. Forward, low, so we're gonna start it on the low settings. I got a speedometer app on my phone I'm gonna use to calculate you know, how far we go and everything. It's a full charge. I got a couple hours till I gotta go back to work, so I'm gonna try to you know, just get the most I can. So we're gonna start a trip here. Um, I'll let you know on each speed mode how fast I get going. I'll periodically keep checking this. I'm gonna throw this in my pocket and uh, let it just do its thing. And uh, we're gonna hop on this board, and uh, let's go for a ride. Okay guys, so I'm starting here just on the slow mode. I'm just on my road right here. Uh, and it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely not fast. Um, one thing I'm noticing right away though, 
These trucks are extremely loose. So before I start going fast or anything, I'm actually gonna pull over here and tighten the trucks. Well, let's see how fast I get going on this slow mode. According to my remote, what does it say? It says I'm going five miles an hour, and it actually kind of feels like that. It definitely does not feel fast at all. So the beginner mode, definitely if you're new um, to riding and you want to get the feel of it, I'm definitely good. Also, too, with this kicktail, you, I can actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. These trucks are so loose, I really need to tighten these. So I got the, in my backpack right here, I got the tool. But notice, because of the kicktail, you can actually kick turn the board, which is really cool. Okay, so let me grab the, let me tighten these trucks up a little bit and we'll get back okay, to test. guys, I went ahead and tightened the trucks and now it feels much more normal, ready to ride on the faster modes. The kicktail is really nice, you can pick it up. And uh, if you're going over, you know, you got a bump, you can actually absorb the impact a little. Also, obviously, you know, you can kick turn with it, which is always nice. First board I've ever had with that. Also, too, here you can see the, you can see the flex a little. So it does have a nice flex to it. Great feel. So we're going to kick it onto the faster, to the medium mode. We're going to work our way to the bike trail where I can really test out the faster mode. But we're going to go with the medium. So I'm going to switch it over to that. We'll hop back on and we'll see how fast we can go on that one. Okay, I made it to the bike trail, but bad news, guys. It's not plowed. There's snow everywhere. So we're going to have to test this the old-fashioned way on the road. So I'm actually going to go a little ways down where it's not so heavily traffic, not so much traffic. And uh, we're going to go check it somewhere else. But I was not expecting this to not be plowed because the roads are completely dry. Okay, guys, so plan B, I'm going to keep riding this random road until I get over there. And there's, there's this quarry that has all these cool hills. And hopefully, they're close for the season, but hopefully it's all dried up there and the roads are nice. So fingers crossed, I just checked my phone and I got to 12 miles an hour on the medium. I'm still riding on the medium. Uh, it handles great. This is a great cruising speed once again, um, but yeah, so we are almost at where I can hop on over there and uh, check it out. And then I'll kick up the kick up the speed. So hopefully these roads over here are dry. I'll fill you in in a second and when we're, when we're right there. Hey guys, it looks like plan B will be a success because all these roads seem fine. Leading down there, we'll be going down by the water, by the lake. And it's really cool. It's the Three Oaks Recreation Area. So I'm quite excited. So I'm gonna have to cross here. They got a little crosswalk and I'll uh, fill you in when we get there. Okay guys, so I safely crossed the road and uh, ahead we have a lot more open space. So I'm gonna switch gears now to the, there's two different highs. There's high low and high plus. So we're gonna switch to the regular high. First off, let's just check out uh, how, the, how the acceleration goes. So here I'm just gonna hit the throttle. Okay, nice and smooth. Once again, even on the fast speed. It doesn't have a crazy amount of torque. It's got just the right amount where you can, you know, it, it goes up and everything, but it's not throwing you off the board. It, it's very comfortable, feels safe. I think the number one thing with electric skateboards, even going over those little speed bumps here, no problem. Got a slight hill here, nothing crazy. But uh, yeah, it's got a very, this feels like a very safe board. Um, these, these boards are no joke. Mo you should wear a helmet. I'm not because I'm a professional and I'm on camera and all this good stuff. But you definitely should ride an electric skateboard. If with an electric skateboard, you should always wear a helmet. Especially if you're new. Uh, I'm a professional, so, or kinda. So, I'm not, but you know. Don't let that get at it. So according to my thing here, it says I'm going 16 miles an hour now. Uh, we definitely got some water here, so you don't want to do this, but I'm gonna show you that it's not the end of the world. If you do, remember there's rubber seals at the bottom and everything. When I get home, I'm gonna make sure everything's nice and dry. Uh, but yeah, try to avoid puddles, but if you do, it's not the end of the world, obviously. I'm still going fine. And I'm going pretty fast now. Nice, smooth surface here. You notice here's all, water is all frozen over you know, and it's really peaceful actually out here doing this all by myself there's no no cars out here I'm totally you know, in the summer this place is packed it's they got like everything here they got wakeboarding lessons you can fish here you can they got a beach they got a bar this place is hopping in the summer so it's really cool to be here in the winter when nobody's here okay but I'm gonna get to the end of this straightaway right up here we'll check uh, We'll check, see how fast we got going on the regular high mode, and then um, and then I'll do some hill tests and stuff. But so far, very impressed with the board. We go through a little water, not the end of the world, but try to avoid it. But you know what? I'm testing the board out, so I wanna. I 
kind of want to do stuff you shouldn't do and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Okay guys, I don't know if you can see it, but right here it says 16 miles an hour. So it actually was 100% accurate with my remote that I did also get to 16 miles an hour, which is shocking because I, because the, the remote will change the speed even when you're not hot standing on the board. So the fact that it was exactly the same, I'm actually really in, intrigued and impressed by. So I still have to check the fastest mode, but the regular max speed is 100% accurate with the specs on the remote. So very impressed with that. Uh, here is where we are. Yeah, uh, this is, I love skating this place and really cool. I got the whole place to myself. So I'm gonna kick the board on a little faster mode. We're gonna ride down these hills, um, play with the brakes a little, and then I'll ride back up these hills. There's more hills over there. And uh, yeah, it is a lot of straightaways. So looks like I'm gonna have some fun. Try to really kill this battery, see how long it can go. And uh, pretty excited, but we've gone like three miles so far. Most of it was just me cruising to get to the bike trail to find out I couldn't get on the bike trail. But we've already gone three miles. And according to my remote, I still have full bars. So I still have five bars on my board. So really cool. And on the remote. So let's get to cruising. Okay guys, so I got it on the high plus now. And definitely has some get up and go to it now. So let's uh, check this out. First, I'm just gonna cruise down these hills. Um, this is more gonna be me be playing with the brake more than anything. Let me turn my viewfinder so I can see you guys. Um, but yeah, once again, this board is amazing. Just kicking it, like it feels more like a regular longboard by far than any other board. And this board is not crazy heavy. Just the, the way it feels when I'm riding it, it doesn't feel crazy heavy. But yeah, we got a lot of the, this is a pretty giant hill. So this will be more fun uh, to test it to going up it. But right now, I can kind of cruise down it a little bit and uh, check out the brakes. I'm gonna try to get quite a bit of speed and then we'll come to this stop sign here. According to my remote, I'm going 15 miles an hour. I'm not really putting much on the power for the throttle. I'm kind of just letting it creep up. Okay, so we're about 30 feet away. I'm gonna try to start to hit the brakes slowly now. And very, very safe braking. Look at that. I mean, come on, whoa. It's definitely, I wasn't expecting that. A little torque with the, with the high plus mode, but not crazy actually. If you're, as long as you're leaning forward a little, it's fine. Definitely lots of power on this mode. Oh, we got a bump here. Handles bumps good. I was expecting that to be a lot bigger. Carves great up these hills. We got another hill here. I'm sorry, carves great on these turns, I mean. But yeah, it's just handling everything. And these, these rubber wheels, the, the, the soft wheels, even when I get them a little wet, it's not slipping or sliding. Uh, everything feels really, really nice. So far, extremely impressed. Once again, another hill here. If you want to look behind me, you can see. I mean, it's not that big, uh, that big of a hill, but I mean, we made it up in absolutely no problems whatsoever. But according to this, going up that hill, I was going 19 miles an hour. So according to the remote, I don't know how that accurate that is. Actually, I can check my app on my phone right now. But very impressed right there. Come on, what does it say? According to here, where does it say? Okay, I must have accidentally hit stop. So. In my pocket, I hit stop, so I don't know how fast I was going. We're gonna have to test that again. But according to the remote, 19 miles an hour going uphill. So that's that's pretty impressive. Okay, so the bigger hill was the one I came in on. So I'm gonna cruise around a little bit, have some fun, and then we're gonna go back up that hill. So let me just cruise around a little bit, have fun, play with the board a bit, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I've been playing around with it, just trying to do manuals and silly little tricks. Um, but yeah, super, super fun. I'm gonna have to do some hill tests with it now, but my favorite thing about it so far is just how it has a lot of power still. You see, I can make it like spin all the way around. But uh, it goes just as fast in reverse also. So really, really cool, uh, very high quality. I love how it does not, it, it does not, uh, like throw you off, it's, it's fast, but it's still very controlled and very safe. So that's my favorite thing about it so far. But I mean, yeah, you can like literally burn it out here on this fastest mode. So I still have to check, see how fast we get going on flat. 
So we'll do that test now. We'll go over there where we got a longer straightaway. Actually, you know what? We'll do the hill test first because there's a long straightaway on top of that hill. So let's test this largest hill we have is that one right there. And, um, and yeah, but I don't see any reason why I wouldn't make it up. So far though, this is probably my favorite hub motor board uh, ever because also too, I like how this is enclosed and these don't get that hot. Like I can put my hand on them and they're not hot at all. I've been riding this board for a while now. Also too, whenever I was running over puddles, it wasn't making steam or anything like a lot of other boards. Um, so, so far, very impressed. None of these also have came, in, came loose. It does come with a screwdriver, so you can check them. When you first get the board, there is a chance that they could vibrate out a little. So, first couple times riding it, you just want to make sure they don't have the habit of backing out. But they shouldn't. And if they do, you can just put some Loctite on them. But uh, right now, I don't see the need to. They feel fine. I brought that screwdriver with me, but I haven't had to tighten anything up yet. So, um, let's cruise over to this hill, and let's have some fun. Okay, so we're gonna go make it to that hill right now, and uh, we'll see how this goes. But I don't see any reason why you, why it wouldn't make it up the hill. Once again, quite bumpy and rocky here, but this board is handling it great. It has these nice soft wheels. I, I, my favorite thing though is the braking. You don't feel like you're gonna die whenever you hit the brakes, whether it's just to slow down a little or to stop. A lot of boards, if you hit it to slow down, it's gonna just basically like the same thing as if you were trying to stop. This one, very easy to just give it a little, you know, say I'm coming to the bottom of this hill. I just wanna slow down a little, I don't wanna stop. You know, it's very easy to manage that. The, like the throw of the controller uh, is one of my favorite things whatsoever okay so what I'm gonna do is right I don't want to get any momentum then start the hill I want to start I want to start on a dead stop so you you're getting a real idea of how powerful the motors are and everything so we're gonna get to this stop sign right here that's where the incline starts and it is quite the big incline I mean you can't see the top of the hill um, not crazy but it, I mean I don't see you going through much bigger hills than this unless you live in like San Francisco or something okay so I'm gonna stop here and then we're just gonna go from a dead stop to up the hill, but I don't see any reason why this should be hard at all. Okay, so once again, it doesn't have that crazy torque. It kind of eases you into it, but I'm I'm getting faster and faster, even though I am, I'm like on the hill, I'm getting faster and faster still as I'm going up. So, so far very impressed. Doing a bunch of hills will kill your battery faster, so know that going into it. If you've got a very hilly ride ahead of you, just know it's gonna do a little to your battery. Uh, but really, so far, really impressed. Okay, so we got a big straightaway that way and a big straightaway this way. So we're just gonna keep going this way. And um, when I get to the end here, we're gonna check to see what the app said. And if you're wondering where this park is, it's in Crystal Lake, Illinois. Is up here right off route 14 but I'm going really fast now I don't know how I don't know how like that's sounding if the winds all getting picked up but I am going fast okay so we're coming up on the highway so I'm gonna have to stop here even at the fastest speed very safe braking um, overall that that's so far that's my biggest um, the biggest thing I'm impressed by is how well the braking system works in the acceleration I'd rather have like a safe acceleration any day over that crazy torque that throws you off of it. So according to this, oh, I got 25 miles an hour. Look at that, you see that? Okay, so I did not expect uh, the 25 miles an hour. Uh, it, 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 this board is so smooth, it honestly didn't feel like I was going that, yeah, and it says right down here. So the, the, the remote is 100% accurate with the speedometer. That just blows my mind because uh, it just blows my mind. <laughs> that, that is crazy. I never would have thought that that would be that accurate. Um, just because it was the way it can calculate, like when the board's not even rolling. If you have the board upside down, it calculates it, like how fast you would be going. I thought that was 31 miles an hour. Okay, so maybe it does actually, you know, because it does take in, I don't know, I don't know how this thing works, how it senses that. Very, very smart technology they're using on this board. Um, yeah, but really impressed. I love everything about it. I love the little the kick turn. Um, so far, this is without a doubt, hands down, my new favorite electric skateboard by far. 
Ah, yeah, and it rides so good just as a longboard. Like if you ran out of battery, like it is so smooth. This is literally the first electric skateboard I've ever ridden that feels like a real longboard. It doesn't just, yeah, I don't know. Usually electric skateboards, especially when they're, you're not, you don't have any power to them. They just feel like the, like sluggish and heavy. And uh, this one, definitely not. So yeah, making sure I was still rolling. Yeah, very, very impressed. So I don't know, I still got a lot of battery left. Okay, we're finally, we finally killed a couple bars. We're down to three bars. But I've been riding this board for like two hours. And pretty soon I gotta go back to work. One thing though I have noticed, all my other boards, before the battery runs out, my feet start hurting from the vibration. This board, my feet do not hurt at all. I feel totally like I just jumped on it. It is super, super comfy board and I couldn't be happier with it. So I, I'm i just like, I'm very, I feel very blessed that they even sent me this. I, I have no affiliation with this company. He just hit me up and was like, hey, you wanna check out our board? And I was like, sure. but. I mean, I keep these reviews totally honest. I don't get paid for making these. I mean, I get the board for free. Uh, but without a doubt, this is by far my favorite electric skateboard and the coolest looking one too. I love how everything's green. Uh, it just is freaking awesome. So funny thing here is 20 miles an hour. On the board, I'm actually gonna be speeding so I can get pulled over. <laughs> but yeah, and I, I just love the fact that the board's remote has the correct speedometer. Like, I didn't even need to bring my phone with to check it. Yeah, I mean, I had to to confirm it, but like, I didn't even know that. I'm going 27, it says now, which I believe because this is a slight downhill. It's gonna go a little more downhill here. So let's see how fast I get going with these slight downhills too. And even at these top speeds, the bushings still feel very stable. The trucks feel good. I don't get any speed wobbles. And I'm going fast. I'm 28 miles an hour. All right, so this board's awesome. Hands down, this board is awesome. I mean, I've been riding this board for a long time. I don't even think I'm gonna get to the end of the range before the battery wears out. I gotta get going back to work pretty soon. I'm about a mile away from my house. So I'm gonna ride it another mile to my house. Um, I might have to save the like a full range like experiment for another day. But based on all the other specs of this board and how everything's been accurate, I see no reason why the range would not be accurate. Really freaking cool. Yeah, I don't know, I just, I think this is awesome. I love having the LCD on the remote too. It feels so much more professional. It doesn't feel like a toy. It kind of just feels like, I don't know, you know, like it feels like your car for, you know, kind of like a, you have a mix between an electric skateboard and a car, like a luxury electric skateboard. Without a doubt, yeah, my new favorite electric skateboard. So I got to cross some pretty busy roads here and then I'm going to make my way home. I'll fill back with you guys in a second, but yeah, absolutely loving it. Pop shove it. <laughs> yeah, guys, just crazy. On the roads, you're going just as fast as the cars. Like if it's like a 30 mile an hour road, I'm keeping up with all the cars. We are almost at where I can start turning and getting onto like little side streets by my house. But I got another little bit to go here. Yeah, like look at this. It's 35 here and these cars are just now catching up to me. Turn, make sure to use hand signals too when you're turning. Look at that, it takes the turn so smooth, no problem. Loving it. Okay, I still have a while till I'm back home. I had to kind of take a back way because I didn't want to be in too heavy traffic. So I'm still about a mile and a half away from my house. So I'm just gonna cruise at home and I'll check back in with you guys. But I've been cruising for like over two hours almost now. It's, it's just over two hours, I think. I, I gotta check what time it is, but it was almost two hours last time I checked. And the board's still got a lot of juice in it. So I don't see any time you're gonna need, like the battery is more than enough in this board. So I'm gonna get the rest of the way home. I'll check in with you guys, but this is too far. Hey guys, so I made it back home. I rode the board for two hours and 10 minutes and I still have three bars of battery. 
So usually on boards, I don't know if it's the same on this one, a lot of boards like they go down faster at like the last two bars. So maybe that's the case with this board too, I don't know. But I do think you would be able to get the range that they advertise, no problem. Being that it's 2019, this is the first electric skateboard I've reviewed in 2019. And not only is this my the best board so far of the year, this is the best board I've reviewed in general. It looks cool, it's very safe to ride, it's comfortable, it flexes, the wheels are nice, the remote is awesome. Um, it powers itself on just from moving it, it's got a kicktail. It literally is a cool graphic on the bottom, it's water resistant. I mean, I went through a lot of freaking puddles and I wasn't even worried. I don't recommend you doing that, but that's why I'm testing the boards for you guys. Um, that's why the companies send them to me so I can test them so you know when you buy the board what you're getting. Um, for the price, this is definitely, in my opinion, the best board you can get. Even just the small little things, the little details. It's got a very unique shape. It's got the cutouts for your wheel bite. I just really like it. The speedometer on the remote was 100% accurate, which I did not expect that to be accurate at all. Not to rip on, I just didn't think the technology would work like that. Um, but it did, it, it was totally accurate. Um, if you do not like this shape board, they have. They also sell just your classic longboard shaped. Hopefully I can review more boards from these guys because I'm just blown away by it. Um, and if you want something a little crazier, you want something a little nicer to impress your friends, show off a bit, you can get a carbon fiber deck from them as well. So I'll put all the links down below to their social medias, to their website where you can purchase all this stuff or email them if you have more questions. If you have any questions to me, please let me know down in the video below. But I must say everything, the build quality, the bushings, these trucks feel rock solid. The case, the casing that goes over the battery and the motherboard, it all feels really, really nice. Um, so I'm gonna go inside, clean off everything because everything got, got kind of wet from road salt and mud and God knows what. So I'm gonna clean everything off real good, re-oil the bearings, charge it up, and um, I'm gonna have a lot of future rides on this thing that I'm very excited about. So thank you so much for Ride One Up Board for sending me this. I appreciate it so much. Uh, if you ever wanna work with me again in the future, I'd love to. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.